Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Boss Expansive video and in this video myself and my son are going to be opening some more older Star Wars figures and we've got some really really cool ones to open actually. We've got a Power of the Force figure, we've got a 3.75 inch Black Series figure and we also have a comic two pack which obviously has two figures in it so that makes four figures in total that we're going to be showing you today and first of all we have one that my son picked up today. We went to a shop called Retro by Ronnie, which is in my hometown. And it was like a Star Wars day there and they had loads of characters in cosplay. Really awesome. We saw, who did we see? Boba Fett and Mando. Yeah, we saw Boba Fett. We saw Mando and the child. Who else was there? Chewie. Chewie. And there was some stormtroopers. There was a biker scout, I think. Rebel Fleet Trooper. Han Solo. Han Solo in Bespin. It was it was awesome. Anyway, Retro by Ronnie is mainly, as they say, retro toys. There's all sorts of toys in there, but they do sell a little bit of modern. And on this occasion, my son wanted to pick this figure up. Now, why did you want to pick up 8D8? Because he's in The Return of the Jedi and The Book of Boba Fett. Right. Okay, so let's have a quick look at him. So this is the Power of the Force. This is the freeze frame. You can just see there. You can see 8D8 branding the gonk droid there. So you do get the branding machine inside here or torture machine, whatever you want to call it. And of course, these were made by Kenner. So there is the back of the card, Power of the Force. And as you can see, this cost £6.99 which isn't too bad. So we're going to open up this one first and check out the figure. Okay then, so first of all, I've got the light round the front here so we can just show you how cool the freeze frames are. These are really awesome. You get to see the scene from the movie as he's uh, torturing that poor old gonk droid there. So there's that. But now we'll quickly take a look at the figure and little boss can let you know what he thinks. All right then, so here's the figure. Okay, and as you see, you do get the uh, sort of contraption that is the, you know, the torturing unit, or whatever you want to call it, the branding device, I think they call it on the package. And the 88 figure for me isn't too dissimilar to the original vintage Kenner version, slightly updated. The main body of him is, is pretty much the same with the same markings and everything. And uh, there's the branding device, as I mentioned. The uh, handle is articulated, so that does move. And apart from that, it doesn't really do a lot else, but it, it looks pretty good. So I do like that. Now, what do you think of the figure, Little Bosk himself? Do you like the figure? I really like the figure because when you put a light behind his head, it, his eyes light up. Yeah, now he on the back of his head here, he's got this little yellow sort of piece of uh, translucent plastic, which is awesome. And yeah, he's absolutely right. So let's move the light around and let's see if we can get his eyes to glow. So there you go. Look at that. That's awesome. Really good. They glow yellow through that piece of plastic. So that's really good. And as Little Boss said, he is in the Book of Boba Fett, regardless of, you know, whether you happen to like that show or not. It was pretty cool seeing um, 8D8, even though it might not even be 8D8, but it's the same kind of droid. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but he's a good one to have and of course if you've got a Jabba's Palace playset or any kind of Jabba's diorama you do need this guy with his little torture device and uh, for a Power of the Force figure from what 1997 or whatever it was I can't even remember when it was now 97 98 something like that um, this isn't a bad figure of course it doesn't need to do too much it doesn't have to have loads of articulation or anything and I think he looks pretty good. So you're quite happy with that one, Little Bosk? Yeah, I really like him. Cool. All right. On to the next figure. All right. So the next figure that we're going to open up is from the Star Wars, the Black Series 3.75. And it is Pablo Jill. Now, this is a figure that I've wanted for absolutely ages. And I managed to pick him up from Echo Base for an absolute steal. This figure with two other 3.75 inch Black Series for £20. And this guy goes for a lot more than £20 on the secondary market. You could have also got him in the cancelled Legacy Collection line from, what, 2013, I want to say, at the end of the Vintage Collection, before the Black Series 3.75, they did the Legacy Collection again, but they cancelled it pretty quickly. And this is one of those figures, and he is awesome. Let's just take a look at the very, very boring 3.75-inch Black Series packaging. It's just got an orange line on it, isn't it? It was supposed to be a bit more, like, elegant, I guess, you know, to bring in the adult collectors, um... But I don't really think it worked. And also the glue on these ones was terrible. The uh, bubbles used to fall off. In fact, the other two that I got with this one, the bubbles are completely off. And you can see some tape holding it on there as well. Um, but yeah, Pablo Jill, 
Can't wait to open him up. Let's take a look. All right then, so here he is out of the packaging and he is one weird looking Jedi, isn't he? Really crazy design. And what's the first thing you noticed about this figure, little boss? That he's got an upside down head. <laughs> yeah. He has, isn't he? It's so, such a weird character, but he's awesome. So, of course, this is one of the Jedis that was in the Battle of the Geonosis Arena, along with Luminar and Dooley, Ayla Sakura, uh, Kit Fisto, you know, a load of other Jedis, basically. And he was one of the ones that ignited his lightsaber when they all sort of, you know, showed themselves in the arena, which was an awesome scene. And what a figure but um <laughs> once again yeah he does have the upside down head but little boss wanted to say something else about the figure when you take his robes off look at these legs what do you want to say about those legs what is going on with his legs please someone help him <laughs> the state of that i mean he you know he looks like he's been run over by a train uh, his legs are you know the facing the wrong way they look broken don't they and if you haven't got a stand for this guy good luck because i mean i mean i managed to get him to stand up but i wouldn't really want to trust him in your cabinet anytime you open the door or move a figure or something like that because he is just going to go but amazingly he does have rocker ankles which is like bizarre i mean a few of these figures did like the anakin from the black series 3.75 he had the rocker ankles as well. And this guy has them. And boy, does he need them. Because look at that leg. That is crazy. Um, anyway, apart from that, he does have lots of other articulation. Unfortunately, his head doesn't move a great deal because it is quite a big neck. So the head just really moves left to right. Nothing else really. But, but he's got ball jointed arms and elbows and hips and everything like that. As I say, the rocker ankles. So as a Jedi, he's got pretty much everything you need. But Man, look at those legs. That is just, <laughs> I don't know what to say when I first saw those. All right then, so next up we have an awesome comic two-pack. This is Star Wars Empire number eight. And this includes two figures, obviously, because it's a two-pack and a comic. And this box isn't in too much great shape, but that's okay because I want to open it anyway. And I do have another one of these, which is nice and mint as well. But if you open it up, you can see the two figures inside with the comic there and then sort of like uh, an example of what's inside the comic. Now these two characters are called Cammy and Fixer, I believe, and they were in the deleted scenes of Star Wars A New Hope. They're like friends of Luke Skywalker's and they were hanging around the Toski station, I believe. But where else have we seen them, little boss? In the book of Boba Fett. Absolutely, yeah. So they're the guys that are getting picked on at the Toski station by the Nikto gang which is great because obviously it makes having these figures even better now and it's one that I want to open so we're going to go ahead and open it right now quickly flick through the comic but more than that we're going to take a look at these great looking figures all right so here's the figures in their tray but I just wanted to bring this in here so there's some really good sort of artist impressions of the characters there and uh, their official names are Cami Marstrap and Lays Fixer and if anyone wants to pronounce that surname, you can go right ahead. I'm not going to attempt to in this video. Um, but there they are. We're going to open them up in a second. But first of all, I want to take a quick look at the comic because there's some interesting stuff about this comic. So here it is. Uh, Star Wars Empire number eight by Dark Horse Comics. And then on the back, look at that. It's the 2008, is it? Indiana Jones line. Some great figures in there. These are the Last Crusade figures some really good ones there uh, that was a great line I wish I had some more of these I've got a few but I wish I had more and uh, yeah if we just open the comic up you can see there so that's pretty awesome so I'm going to read this later on but for now let's open these figures and take a closer look all right then so here they are out of the packaging and even though they're not in a new hope the full film you know they were cut out of it or whatever I think these are two great figures to have in you know a new hope Tatooine setup really really liking these figures they've got lots of articulation as well they've got ball jointed elbows and shoulders knees nothing on the uh, ankles or anything like that but they're just two great looking figures i'm actually really love the head sculpt of cami i think she really looks like the actress and she's also holding some kind of animal let me know in the comment section below what you think that animal is little bosk has got a good has got a good idea what did you call it I called it a dog, but I don't. I don't remember seeing it in the book of Boba Fett. No, I don't think they had it uh, whilst they're out, did they? But um, he he's looking a little bit Indiana Jonesy himself, isn't he, with his uh, sort of jacket there and everything. I you know 
good looking figures and as I say just ones to have on the shelf and particularly because they have now been in the book of Boba Fett they're kind of like officially canon within the story and everything so it's nice to have have the figures so there you go we have opened up four figures in this video uh, we've opened up the 8d8 for little boss that he picked up today that's for his little return of the Jedi setup I've opened up the Jedi Pablo Jill for the attack of the clones and these two awesome figures from the comic pap Cammy and Fixer from the book of Boba Fett I guess but really they're from the deleted scenes of A New Hope. I absolutely love them I think they're great if you can manage to pick this up on the secondary market I highly recommend it two brilliant looking figures there so thank you so much for watching everybody thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members your support is always greatly appreciated thank you so much for watching and we shall see you on the next one